are the Japanese way of eating cold noodles. I am aware that the notion of cold noodles is not exactly an invitation, but in reality there is something about that slippery tangle, mouth filling, that is just wonderful. Those are soba noodles, which are largely buckwheat, which gives a lovely thick nuttiness to the pasta. I want some sesame seeds toasted while I'm about it. It just means scattering them in this pan and letting their flavour come to the fore as they get golden and slightly scorched. The noodles are cold, so they have a dressing rather than a sauce, and quite a scant one. First being rice vinegar, lovely sharpness. But everything needs balance in life, and against the sharpness of the vinegar, a bit of honey, the same amount of toasted sesame oil, and a good splash of soy. The noodles are quite sweet actually, so the saltiness of the soy works very well. These just need to be stirred together gently. A few spring onions I need here, a little bunch is all. A shake to my sesame seeds. And the seeds look just about done now, lightly scorched and toasted. Quick final check here. Perfect. Quick drain, and then they need to be drenched with ice cold water just to stop them cooking so they don't go mushy. Look at these beautiful pale brown strands into the dressing you've made. Scatter the spring onions over them and of course the lovely toasted sesame seeds. Just toss everything together. It really is easier to use your hands. Also it feels lovely. In an ideal world you should leave the noodles to stand for about half an hour so that the flavours mellow and mingle but it isn't absolutely necessary and to be honest not always entirely possible. When I make these for myself, I tend to eat just a huge bowlful of them, as they are. But if I've got some friends coming round, I love to make some seared tuna and gingery broccoli to go with. To make this old favourite of mine, tuna tataki, take a log of ludicrously ruby tuna, paint it with oil and mustard, and roll it in coarsely ground peppercorns to form a smokily hot crust. Sear the tuna in a really hot pan on all sides until only the barest edges are browned and the pepper crust is welded onto the fish. Cut into the finest slices you can and sprinkle with spring onions and twiggy strips of cucumber. To make my gingery broccoli, boil the tender leggy stems for the briefest of moments before plunging them into a bowl of ice water to stop them cooking any further and to keep their vivid green colour. I give this a faintly Japanese flavoured dressing of grated ginger, soy sauce, sesame seeds and a few drops of toasted sesame seed oil.